Alright, yo, what's up guys? This is my first YouTube video. I'm going to be showing you how to make a Che slash Slum Success slash A8 type beat. Um, these have been pretty popular recently and I made one of my own. I've made a few of my own, but I wanted to make a YouTube tutorial to show you guys how to make a beat in this style with some like hard hanging drums and an ambient type of melody. So let's just get to it. Here's the preview of the beat. So I'll just show you guys, I'll just break down how I made the melody first off and then I'll show you how I made the drums. So firstly with the melody, I basically made this pretty simple melody and then just layered it a bunch with a bunch of different sounds and add lots of different effect plugins to make it sound crazy and ambient and all that shit. So. I first started off making the melody in FL keys just so I could actually hear what the fuck the melody sounds because I started with this try and extreme um plugin and and with this sound you do not distinguish what notes are being played so it's kind of like an ARP sound effect so I started with FL keys that's what it sounds like It's pretty simple, it's just um, playing this over and over. And that's just the tonic and the sixth, and then the tonic and the fifth. So that's a pretty simple dark chord progression that you can use in a lot of these types of beats. Um, so I basically took this MIDI and copy and pasted it onto all of these um, plugins right here to create this really ambient melody. So first off, I'll show you just Brian Extreme as like this. The, uh, the preset is called Almost Asleep, like an arpeggiated synth preset. Then I use another Korg plugin called WaveStation, and this is what it sounds like. Use the City of Tomorrow sound. Also, when you're using these, when you're making these types of melodies, you can add like delay onto your melodies and stuff just to create a more ambient feel, which I would have done on multiple of these sounds. Um, then on XV, I used XV5080, use this preset, this pulsating preset called Cyber Dreams, what it sounds like. Uh, the melody. And I just added this stereo enhancer to basically wind it. Um, sort of just helps distinguish this sound from the others all these sounds going on in the beat. Um, so then I use this expand preset called Tiny Up. What it sounds like. Sound as far as fuck. It helps bring the beat to life a lot. It's a little less ambient, but like it stands out in the beat. Um, then I've also used this Xenology preset for PW Pluck, sounds like. And then I added this Shaper Box Filtered Motion SC preset and this Sawgate 2 preset from Grossbeat. Turned them both down in the mixer a bit 
Um, and that sounds like this. Just sort of filters it out a bit, it gives it m more movement, I guess. Um, the last melody that I layered this exact MIDI with was this. Actually, no, there's one more, but um, that sounds like this. And this melody added Echo Boy, Delay, Pan Man, the usual stuff to just make it sound more ethereal, so that's what it sounds like. Then I've laid it one more time. This is the same MIDI, but it's just dabs. I've used this one shot called Sharkboy 2. I assume it's by Sharkboy. And that sounds like this. Pretty simple. Then I've used this lead, which comes in towards the second half of the chorus, which sounds like And then I added this little EQ for a bit more higher end, I don't know. And this portal, there's a portal, and so circuited preset from this green structures portal bank, which makes it sound like this. Altogether, yeah, it'll sound like this. But with all of um, these like layered melodies here, I uh, linked them all to one mix mixer pre uh, mixer channel, and I added this instance of portal and this AM preset from Gross Beat as well. It's just the EQ to turn up the volume, so that makes it sound like this. Well, this is what it sounds like with that. And with it on, it sounds like. It's not that different. It just sounds a bit more ethereal, I guess. Now, moving on to the drums. Pretty simple, mostly. Uh, this is what the drums sound like by themselves, so... So I use this Nate drum kit and I just started off with a basic snare pattern and I then layered that, I also layered that with this clap snare. Then you, with these types of beats, I mean personally I add lots of perks just to like make the drum sound and times more crazy, so I've added these home and hats that just repeat every two bars. Um, I've added these laser sounds. Also added these, this, I don't even know what you call it. Then I also added this the shaker, another perk. Pretty crazy sound though, but it just adds more ambiance to it. Also, put this open hat in. And then this reverse open hat. That plays every four bars. The signature Nate type of snare of. Sounds like. Basically, you just want to um, add delay onto a snare and use beat or third beat magnet, oh, whatever you whatever you call it, and want to go crazy with the triplet rolls. 
um, change the velocity a bunch, go up and down and notes, stack them, do all sorts of kind of crazy rolls. And the way you know how to place them is just like, if I play in context with the snare, yeah, you can hear like, it's sort of playing in between the gaps of each. Honestly, with these snares I've used here, kind of random, but it just adds to the crazy um, ethereal feel of the beat overall. So whatever works, works. Different for different types of beat. It works here. Um, lastly, well, one of the last things I've added is these hi-hats. So I just added this sort of basic hi-hat pattern, which has a lay on it as well, adding to like the ethereal effect of it. Constantly going down, that's just what I felt like doing in this. Delay. Uses sub 808 by Mio, and pretty much I just mainly stayed on the tonic with the root note. And at the end of every two bars, I'd go up to the fifth. Um, you just want to incorporate a bunch of 808 rolls. You leave like some gaps, create small rhythm, um, space for the 808 using slides. Not really sure how to explain how I created the pattern, but sort of freestyling it. Like this bit right here sort of helps give rhythm to it, I guess. Make it sound more crazy. Going up an octave. These sorts of things just gives it the beat a lot more energy when you have like a crazy 808 in the types of beats. And then for the second part of the um, the chorus, the second eight bars, rather than playing the tonic, I'm playing the sixth, which is the C sharp rather than the F. Normally playing that note, but in this pattern, playing the C sharp, which gives it more suspense. So this was it goes back to the air sort of resolves it so i took that from like the i was inspired by that from the me and my cup beat by ken carson um and that just gives suspense to it makes the beat like 10 times more fun opinion so um then you can just add like whatever sound effects you want like do a lot of sound effects in these types i just added this play effect right when the beat hits Sounds like this. Pretty common, it's used in like a lot of beats. And that just makes it like get 10 times harder. Like. So that's, yeah, that's pretty much how you make a Nate type beat. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment, let me know what you see next. And yeah, thanks for watching.